Hello everyone and welcome back to the Curse of Monkey Island, brought to you on beautiful Scum VM emulation. He seems a little bit miserable walking away like that. Danger Cove, Swamp, well, presumably was the quicksand, Puerto Polo. There is a sign, Danger Cove. Walk through speaker. Uh, hello? I can't understand you. What was that? Eh, forget it. Yeah, uh... Oh, we do have a reservation slip here, though, so... Have a reservation? Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation slip. Very good. You may seat yourself, Mr. Uh, pardon me, Mrs. Brian Stoop. I don't need a whole barrel. I'll just take one. Quite patron. Hey, mister. Mister, you listening? Ah! Oh, look, it's Grim It's Bandango. one of Chuck's skeletal horde! Aye! I fix his little red dinghy, but good! Mm, the undead that walk among us must surely be destroyed, lest their evil like overrun and befoul the world of the living. Aye, and he complained about me checking. Oh. A tasty buttery biscuit. How should I use this biscuit? How should I use this biscuit? That looks delicious. Oh, this biscuit is full of maggots! Aye! <laughs> That's my special ingredient! That's just the right amount of exotic flavor. It's a good thing, too, because I can't keep them out of the food around here. It says, ask me about Grim Fandango. I don't want people always asking me about Grim Fandango. Mm. This whole sordid scene has litigation written all over it. <laughs> Value meal, two drumsticks plus super slaw. Looks like a fine deal if you like slaw. Excuse me, but... What a lucky pirate are ye! Me? You've struck gold, boy! I have? Gold! 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 Ha <laughs> ha! Gold and nuggets of chicken! Oh. A treasure trove of deep fried fun! <laughs> now, what can kindly old Captain Blondebeard bring ye for lunch? Cheese toast. Got any? I'm afraid we're out of that fine and economical dish. Actually, I'm out of just about everything. Not a drumstick left. All I have left are those biscuits and a few tubs of our special Ipecac slaw. How's the Ipecac slaw? Not bad. But 15 minutes later, you'd be hungry again. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. Aye. Club card. Hmm. Okay, then. Uh, excuse me. I'll let you get back to work. Hi. Uh, excuse me. I wish to have a chat with you about your gold tooth. Nice gold tooth you have there. Hi. It glistens like the golden topping of grease on me luscious batter fried chicken. Did I mention how much I admire your gold tooth? Aye, you did. 
it's one heck of a gold tooth. And blonde beard serves up one heck of a lunchtime value. Business must be good if you're sold out of chicken. Sold out? I never said nothing about being sold out. Then what happened to all your chicken? Ah, tis a story steeped in terror, marinated in mayhem. There be a horror that prowls the jungles of Plunder Island. A seven-foot-tall monster he be, and he has a hatred for mankind unequaled. His preternatural rage burns hotter than the coals used to roast a million of his kin. He is El Pollo Diablo, the devil chicken. The devil chicken! The devil chicken. He hates me most of all. And his revenge against me must be tastier than me hearty giblets and cracklins party mix. What's he done? He turned loose all me chickens, returned them to the wild to roam the jungles free as nature intended. Even now, I have a huge order to fill and no chicken to fill it. But I know he's not through. Ruining me business is just the first step. Someday he'll return. For me! But mark this. I'll be ready for him. And a seven-foot chicken means me business will be thriving once more. Hmm. How long have you been out of chickens? Weeks. Months, maybe. And it's not the loss of business that hurts me the most. No? I miss the taste of me chicken. You can dine this world over, but you'll never be a connoisseur of carrion till you had a taste of me savory squab. Why, even now, I guts me a craving for me palate-pleasing poultry. Ah, I can taste it now. Me crispy bounty of breaded beaks. There'd be nothing like the hearty crunch from these pan-fried jewels. Isn't that a little hard on your teeth? Aye, but the challenge of it all be half the dining enjoyment. Now that I got the thought of that crispy chicken extremity in me head, I'll be pining for the crunch till I get me something to crack me teeth on. Hmm. I'll let you get back to work. Aye. Something crunchy. Well, we do have a jawbreaker. Would you like this jawbreaker? Thanks to ye. Ouch! I think I loosed me gold tooth. Arr, I knew sweets were being bad for me teeth, but it had a fine crunch and were a fiesta of flavor. From now on, I'll be sticking to fleshier foodstuffs. Something, something chewy. Well, there I go again. This old salt's got a craving for something to squish between me teeth. Something chewy. Pack of gum. Would you like some gum? Thanks. Hmm. This is really good steak-flavored gum. It gets you here. And it gets you right here. Why, you little scamp. <laughs> That's quite a funny trick you've played on old Cap and Blonde Beard. Mm, well, we have a gold tooth now. I think that counts as for a treasure. Check this out. Is that real gold? I guess you can find treasure. So you'll join my crew? Sure, as long as my partners will join too. I'll need one more sailor for my crew. Hmm. Well, we've got um, got those two, so we still need need to best Haggis McMutton. Um, 
at um, Kabatos. Yes, may I help you? Something sure smells uh, cooked. Got anything to eat? Sure, but hey, it's a lovely afternoon for the beach today. Not too crowded yet. There's a crafts workshop on the south beach and a swapper size class at two and four. Water's warm and the waves aren't too high. Just watch out for the occasional undead corpse washing up on shore. Might want to keep the kids away from any rotting flesh. But otherwise, the siege early today shouldn't spoil your afternoon. Just between you and me, the undead are notoriously bad tippers. So it's just as well they didn't take over the island, eh? <laughs> Let me see your <laughs> membership card and we'll fix you right up. Why? You're at the Brimstone Beach Country Club in Smorgy, part of the Leisure Lovers Planned Community for Retired Pirates. It's very exclusive. I'm afraid if you don't have a membership card, you cannot use any of the club's amenities. I don't want an amenity. I had to eat one of those while I was lost at sea and it was terrible. Then let me also point out that without that membership card, you are not permitted on the beach, you cannot use any of our towels, and you can't have anything from the grill. Good day. I do have a membership card, though. Hey, excuse me. Yes, you filthy little man. My card. Let me see that. Oh, no! In the name of all things clean, you've got a membership. Yes. And I think I'll just take one of your fluffy clean towels and enjoy a nice relaxing stroll down your beach. No! You mustn't! Hmm. Then perhaps I'll stay here and tell you my life story. Now that I think about it, it is nice out on the far end of the beach. You should go there. You should go there now. Nice fluffy towel. I'll just take one more. I've got enough towels. Towels are all wet now. Youch! Cool. Oh, cooking off. That would hurt. Yeah, no. It looks like some of those are older than I am. This isn't really helping me. Chicken coop. Die vat. Hmm. Mud puddle. Mysterious door. Let us saw the sawhorse.
spinning. I gotta lay off the rum. I'm not quite sure what I just did, though. Hmm. However, I assume that since there is now something that's been added to the, the pile of capers. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? It's as I told you, Guybrush. Not until you can best me in the caber toss. Sounds great. Let's do it. Hey, I win! By the spiraling bouffant of me great Uncle McManus! Never before have I seen such strength. Sure, I'll join your crew. I'll wait at the shop until you're ready to leave. Well, I got my whole crew. Hmm. Well, we've got we've got a full crew. Meanwhile, off the coast of Plunder Island, a barrel of grog and a chicken. <laughs> Look at all this stuff, mate. Oh, that must have been some battle. Let's pull up anchor and make for Skull Island. King Andre will pay through the nose for all this loot. Wait a minute. There's something else. It's, uh... It's, it's some kind of footwear. Hey! Those are nice boots. <laughs> but they're still hot. Ow, 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 ow! <laughs> hmm. Well, the chalk thingy? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean. Right, fine, let's, let's explore more here. With these holes in my shoes, I'll never get across that hot beach. sunbathing for very long, so cut me some slack. How long have you been out here? Since August. I've seen correctional fluids with better color than you. Yeah, babe. I'm not the tannest cat around. But, as you can see, I'm working on it. I'm looking for Blood Island. Do you know where it is? Nope. Never heard of it. That's funny. Did that guy at the theater? told me you booked all his shows there. Cromwell, I should have known. If I booked that guy in a dinghy, there'd be empty seats. So you do know how to get to Blood Island? Yeah, yeah. They had a really nice room there, too. The Good Soup Plantation Resort Hotel and Casino. It was the place to go before they moved the shipping lanes. I used to book so many gigs there, I had the map tattooed on my back. Uh, on your back? All those little yellow sticky notes just kept getting lost. Oh. Why did you lie and say you didn't know how to get to Blood Island? I I, I just don't want to say. What? It's your face, babe. There, I said it, babe. I hope you can forgive me. I just got to be honest. I just didn't think you were the right type for Blood Island. That's not some place I picture your career going right now. Let me get you a booking somewhere that's in your league. I can gig you at this little shoe factory in Hoboken. It's Blood Island or nothing. If that's the way it's got to be, babe. Then that's the way it's got to be. But you're going to have to find new representation, OK? Can I see your map to Blood Island? You can see it when I roll over to tan my back. When will that be? Could be a long time, babe. A very, very long time. Hmm. 
Please let me see the map to Blood Island. You can see it when I roll over to tan my back. But babe, that may be a very long while. See you around. Hmm. Okay, so we get to here. Okay, well that's good, so... Hmm. Look! A three-headed monkey! Oh boy, oh boy! Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell? Just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you can waste my time. Doesn't it? Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. Was as refreshing as morning dew. Hey, how did you drink all the lemonade? You switched mugs on me, you cheat. I hope you're happy. You put a budding young entrepreneur out of business. Hmm. Fair enough. I don't need it anymore. Oh. Well, I do have a bottomless one now. It's full of dye now. I've got the... I've got the... I've got the bottomless one. You can, you can have that back, yeah? I've brought you a new mug. Thanks. Here's your drink, sir. Look, Palido, you're burning. All those months in the sun and my tan is just gonna peel away. I better turn over. Good idea. So that's the map. I'll never memorize that map. It's far too complex. I really wish I didn't have to do that. Wow, that's legitimately disgusting. Well done. Wow, that's legitimately nasty. Nice boots, huh? Sorry. Hey, what do you know? I really am big bone. Uh-oh, quiet. Here comes Captain LeChuck. <laughs> There, you lovers! Set sail for my stronghold on Monkey Island! I'll unleash my entire army of the undead! This time, Elaine will be mine! Ah, Elaine! Twill be a sweet day in hell when you feel the fiery breath of my kiss on your lips and become my undead bride! 
And I'll destroy any man who dares get in my way! Oh. Suffering sailors, tis good to be dead! <laughs> Right then. Okay, so clearly we are now at the crucial juncture of getting an actual ship for us. Fifteen men on a dead man's... Huh. Who are you? Uh, Ensign Guybrush Streetwood reporting for duty, sir. Huh? Hmm. You don't look like a member of my crew. Honest, I'm the new guy. I haven't heard of any new recruits. I'll have to check that out with my captain. Your captain? Yes, Streetwood. You've come aboard the Sea Cucumber. I am Mr. Fossey, and the first mate, and my captain, why, he's the scourge of the seven seas, the dread pirate, Lechuk. Yes, captain, it's on the table, sir. Lechuk? That's right, Captain Lechuk. Yes, captain, just an intruder, sir, but I'm dealing with him. He says you're to be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered, or you can walk the plank. Feathered sounds good. How about just feathered? No. Sorry. Well, I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. What do you say, men? Can we make him walk the plank? What's that, Captain? Vandals! Well, it looks like we're having technical difficulties, Threepwood. So we'll have to drag out the tar and feathers after all. That'll learn ya! It's a very strange. So what do I do now? Uh, hmm. I don't know. We've never done this before. Aren't you humiliated? I guess so, but no more than usual. Well, just get lost then. Okay then. Well, I genuinely thought that that was going to lead somewhere else. However, we are now out of time for this, so. Thank you for joining me for now, and for now, also, goodbye.